Yo, what's going on, guys? Crispy Flakes here. So, a lot of you guys have probably heard by now, Bradley Beal is supposed to be requesting a trade before the NBA draft. And uh, there's been a few teams out there that he's been listed as wanting to go to. But there is one team, that being the Boston Celtics, that I guess he recently went on the record to say that that is the team he wants to go to. He wants to play Jason Tatum, man. So, I don't know what that means exactly. At the end of the day, it's a business. Teams are going to do what's best for them, not the player. It's just really how the NBA is, right? Uh, but before we get going on today's video, if you guys don't mind dropping that like and, of course, subscribing if you're new to the channel so you guys do not miss any of these nba rumors or recaps or news stories nothing like that man it's all good stuff up in here so yeah if you guys don't mind hitting like and subscribe would be greatly appreciated helping me grow this channel every single day as we are on the road to 300,000 subscribers um but yes so the last thing i read you know besides the celtics being interested i heard the sixers warriors and heat and it sounds like he also has more interest in like the celtics over the warriors so i don't really know if that's gonna happen or not which uh, to be quite honest uh bradley Beal on the warriors does not make sense to me it really doesn't but I, I guess like steph curry actually went to front office and actually was like demanding to get bradley beal over on the team so i don't really know how that's all gonna play out what i do know is that they traded away d'angelo russell who was an all-star caliber point guard actually was an all-star point guard uh to the timberwolves because the fitting did not work so you know steph curry with bradley beal and clay thompson just seemed kind of weird to me uh but what we are going to do guys is we are going to go to the fanspo website and we are going to try to think of trades for all four of these teams, that being the Sixers, Celtics, Warriors, and Heat. You guys let me know in the comment section below what you think the best trade for Bradley Beal is. Uh, so on the season, he did average 31 points, 5 rebounds, 4 assists. I believe he was the league leader in scoring, right? Or did Steph Curry pass him by? I, don't, I remember it was really close, but I think Bradley Beal got it. Might have been Steph Curry, man. But regardless, still absolutely amazing. Uh, some more huge important information right here. You can, uh, you know, know him as Real Deal, Big Panda, Blue Magic brad and dr dre is brad really a nickname i think that's just a shortened name like bradley or brad i don't like i don't think like i don't think if you call somebody josh and their name's josh or you don't say josh is their nickname their name's just josh i don't know man just my thoughts on that real quick here uh but yeah brad the is amazing it's time for him to probably be on a new team he's 28 you know in his absolute prime uh the wizards are not really showing any like great indication to like really be doing anything absolutely crazy with their roster be uh russell westbrook's probably gone if bradley beal is yeah this man got 32 percent of the cap guys um dallas bertans has a large contract you know thomas bryant doesn't really play defense robin lopez is not batman lopez ish smith is ish smith uh, Rui hachimir is cool denny avia didn't really see much from him in his rookie season so uh yeah i mean i really do like daniel gafford but overall this wizards team not much going on man so as far as like trading bradley beal away while he's in his prime against some assets back seems like a good move for me so alrighty, uh i guess the first trade we'll go to the uh trade machine real quick here and uh yeah let's go to the washington wizards uh the first team we will try out is one of the four being the philadelphia 76ers so i think in any case ben simmons would need to be part of a trade you know obviously bradley Beal will be over here um and realistically speaking like money wise 33 million dollars versus 34 million dollars like that right there just works but i obviously think the wizards would want some more stuff back besides him in this case uh i would probably say you're probably looking at tyrese maxi or matisse thibel i think they would probably want tyrese maxi more because he well i guess they're both shooting guards but tyrese can play a little point guard too uh, i would say probably tyrese maxi to the wizards they're not gonna need all these shooting guards in the 76ers man so if, you know if you're a big time uh you know if you're a big time tyrese maxi fan on the 76ers what well, do you want him to bradley beal right i guess is the best way i can put it so yeah tyrese maxi ben simmons and i will probably say they got a toss in their first round pick and to me for bradley beal ben simmons a good young player in tyrese maxi a pick that seems good to me I do know that, you know, really right now, Ben Simmons and Bradley Beal on like the opposite side of the spectrum, fan base wise and trade value wise, a lot of people, you know, want a ton for Bradley Beal and a lot of people don't want much for Ben Simmons, right, man? They're saying that Ben Simmons trade value is not that really high unless you're a 76ers fan, of course. I'm more in the realm of the uh, 76ers where I'm like, yo, Ben Simmons does have some pretty good trade value in my opinion, still despite, you know, having struggled in the playoffs and stuff. But I would say this is at least a good foundation trade. It does work. You know, you could argue another young player add on either side. Maybe some more draft picks. Got the Wizards going minus one. So really not bad, all things considered, in the win-loss column. Uh, ben Simmons is not going to make them a better team than Bradley Beal. But that's why you get the pick out of it and Tyrese Maxey. Uh, I think you could probably actually argue the 76ers tossing in another pick, maybe. I really think so. 
uh, but also at the same time too, with the 76 it says they're only going plus one, which I think they're a way better team with Bradley Beal over Ben Simmons. If I'm being honest, like if you can still go out there and get like a, uh, probably not Kyle Lowry, you'll probably be a little bit too expensive, but maybe like a Goran Dragic or just somebody at that point guard spot have Beal at the two. I think they'll be good to go. Um, or I guess really, if you want to get crazy with them, man, you go Bradley Beal, Seth Curry in the backcourt for the three point shooting. Bradley Beal, I still think, could play a little bit of point guard. He averaged like four or five assists. So uh, yeah, that will be the trade for the 76ers, in my opinion. Let's close out of this and uh, let's go ahead and reset all this stuff right here. So next up, let's do the uh, let's do the Miami Heat. Miami Heat's another team that was listed right here. And uh, when it comes down to the Heat, I really don't think they have not only the assets. But also the financial flexibility. I mean, I guess they do with having like Iguodala and Trevor Ariza's contracts. Okay, so Beal going over to the Heat. Uh, okay, let's not get it twisted right away here, man. Tyler Hero's part of the trade. Like, Tyler Hero would need to be part of this trade 1 trillion percent. So we got Hero going over there. I would say Precious Achua and KZ Opala. And then at that point, you're probably tossing in... Let's toss in Trevor Ariza... And Iguodala for the finances. Hero, Achua, Opala. Opala averaged two points a game. Achua had his ups and downs. Tyler Hero had his ups and downs. So I'm thinking also, they don't really got a lot of first round pick. Damn, they don't got picked out 2024 in the first round. Are you serious, man? What are y'all doing, man? Uh, let's see a really, really future. I'm going to say a top 10 protected. Top 10 protected first round pick. Because Hero, Achua, and KZ still some nice people to get. And we'll also say a second. That will be unprotected. It, ah, damn it, man. It's, it's Bradley Beal. It's an unprotected pick. Let's be honest. It's, it's an unprotected pick. And that's going to the Wizards. And that's going to the Wizards. Because, like, the Wizards, what they're getting back here, it's all potential-based, guys. Which can be very dangerous. It can be very dangerous. Uh, they're not getting, like, the guarantee absolute beast like how hero 15 points five rebounds three assists i believe in the kid but at the same time man we saw some of his shortcomings too so i mean listen, there's still some risk there with tyler hero as opposed to bradley beal you are getting the instant bucket you are getting the 30 plus point per game score right so let's uh let's try this trade out here man it is successful financially speaking uh the wizards obviously getting worse here because they're trading for potential-esque players getting some picks out of it I'm going to be 100% honest, man. I could even see the Heat having to give up another first-round pick here, man. You know, you look at Bradley Beal. I will say this is the best way I can put it. And, and, and let me just also mention this. I do not like this trade for the Wizards. I do think that the other teams have better uh, trade packages. But you got to work with what you got, you know, when it says so-and-so is interested, right? Uh, but Bradley Beal, to me, like, he is the Anthony Davis of shooting guards. By himself, number one option, not great. I got Russell Westbrook. It's not totally by himself. But, you know, number one option not a championship team maybe a fringe playoff team right that's how the wizards have been kind of right uh same with anthony davis when he was on the pelicans so you know for him to get traded to a team i mean the anthony davis trade package was absolutely huge right that's why i don't really like this but that's really all the assets we had to work with right so uh yeah not a huge fan of that trade uh let's reset this uh let's go on next to the golden state warriors and then we'll finish up with the boston celtics of course um Warriors, 39 and 33 last season. Okay, so for this to happen, Beal going over here, going to the Warriors, I would say Wiggins would need to be part of the trade package because at this point you are running the lineup of Steph Curry, Clay Thompson, Bradley Beal, right? So there ain't no room for Andrew Wiggins in that team. There just isn't, right? So I would say he's going there. Uh, I would say you would, you would go number seven pick and number 14. Do you go as far as trading James Wiseman? I feel like if they were to trade James Wiseman, the Warriors would also need some other guys back. But I also feel like Wiseman like it would need to be part of the trade. Again, Bradley Beal out of this, man. Wiggins is simply just for the cap. I don't really think the Wizards would even want him all that much. Okay, I'm going to say Wiseman to the Wizards. And I'm going to also toss in Kelly Oubre sign trade. But taken back is I'm taking back Davis Bertans. Because Bertans' contract with the Wizards just, you know, like that dude ain't going to do much there. But 6'10 power forward, one of the best three-point shooters in the NBA, instantly, instantly works with this Warriors team. Like that is so much financial or, or like offensive firepower you're getting right there between these two guys. That just really works. 
and it makes giving up like Wiseman, like because like, like, Wiseman's still the big time getter in this trade for them. You know, number seven, number 14 is fine. Um, you know, I'm gonna just actually say I'm gonna because they're getting Wiseman, I'm gonna take I'm gonna take off I'm gonna take off number seven. You can have Wiseman or number seven. I think they'd rather have Wiseman though. And that seems pretty fair to me, in my opinion. Is there any other veterans we can toss over here? Uh, because they're getting rid of a center. You know, Ber uh, Berton's not really a center, so I'm also. Uh, I don't know if Robin Lopez is gonna work financially. Um, Gafford, I don't really see that. Well, you know what? I mean, I really have Gafford. <laughs> I'll be honest right now, man. But uh, no, let's say uh, I'm gonna toss to Robin Lopez. I don't think it's gonna work financially. We'll see though. We'll see. Let's uh, let's try this trade out. The trade is successful, man. Andrew Wiggins, Kelly Oubre, James Wiseman, who was a top two pick and a number 14 pick for Bradley Beal, Davis Bertans, Robin Lopez. Wizards get off the contract of Bertans. It's a four-year deal. That's, that seems fair to me, man. And it's not like Oubre and Wiggins are like these old head players. So you're still getting some good young talent on the Wizards. That seems... that's. This is the trade that like, like this is one of those cases where I look at I'm like you know what I like this, but I could see people tearing me apart in the comment section saying that the uh, Warriors maybe are not giving up enough. That number seven pick could also be included. I wouldn't personally care. I would not personally care. Okay, so next up, we got the team that Beal is interested in going to, the Boston Celtics, man. And this one. I can already hear the Celtic fans in the comment section below because obviously a lot of the big Celtic fans these days, uh, you know, they know the day of Andy, uh, Danny Ainge, biggest finesse in NBA history. So they all are also like, you know, man, we want like Peyton Pritchard for like a Michael Jordan time machine. That's just not going to happen. You're getting Bradley Beal. Okay, so we got Bradley Beal going to the Celtics. Jalen Brown would need to be part of the trade, man. You're not getting this done without trading away Jalen Brown. Like you're like 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 the Wizards are not. We know there's so many teams interested in getting Bradley Beal. This does not happen without Jalen Brown. So if you are a Celtic fan, you can straight up say, you know, okay, we we don't want Bradley Beal. That is completely fine. But if you do get him, Jalen Brown has to be part of the trade. And to be honest, I like I like I like Jalen Brown. Like I. Like, I'm kind of cool with them just keeping Jalen Brown, man. He had some big improvements last season. Also, four years younger. I would not give up much more than that. Honestly speaking, to me, that's the trade. To make the finances work, because the Wizards are taking on 10 less million dollars. This, this might work by itself for here based off the salary cap. But I'm not doing much more than this. Because of the four-year age difference. I mean, I guess if you want to look at doing a different trade, you could do maybe like Marcus Smart, but he doesn't really help the Wizards rebuild efforts. Romeo Langford's a good piece. But once again, oh, he's a shooting guard. Robert Williams, they don't really need him. They got Daniel Gafford for like a project center. Yeah, man, I, I feel like this is the only way that it gets done, and I'm not I'm not including any picks or anything because I feel like this alone is is it's a one for one swap. Uh, let's try the trade. It's successful. Wizards go down four points. Celtics go up plus four. If I am the Celtics, maybe I also find a way to take on Davis Bertans because at this point, you know. I, mean, I guess you could do the three guard lineup with uh, having uh, well, they need a point guard still too, man. Damn, Celtics are kind of in an interesting place. Okay, that's the best trade I can think of. I am totally open to more trades in the comp six. Well, I guess to bring back Evan Fournier, maybe run him at the three, Jason Tatum at the four, I suppose. Or once again, you try Bradley Beal at point guard. I guess that could work. I mean, Tatum's playmaking went up to four assists per game. Ooh, interesting, man. Okay, uh, I know I'm gonna get roasted in the comment section. Well, that's cool, bro. Uh, you know, people are people are like that. They're very odd. Uh, they really hold close to their assets when it comes to their favorite team. But you guys, let me know what you think about these trades in the comment section. Well, thank you all so much for watching, and peace out, my friends.